Hello? Hello? Anybody there? John, I've been trying to get a hold of you. Look, we think someone's been messing with your cargo. Well, that can't be right. Other than lunch, this here's my only stop. Yeah, no, no, I, I know, but someone opened your trailer. Since you're carrying explosives, the police are on their way. Just hang tight, all right? If we're lucky, nothing's missing. All right. Jones. Yeah? Well, of course I'm sitting down. You ever seen me standing up? Yeah, hold, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm looking at it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll take care of it on this end. Thompson! Yes, sir. Captain, sir. Cut the crap, Billy. We've got ourselves a situation here. Some fool running around out there with a bunch of dynamite and blasting caps. You mean the missing explosives report from a couple weeks ago? Yeah, what do you know about it? Not much. Uh, let's see. Uh, Two-E construction site, uh, no suspects, uh, not much to go on. Mm -hmm. Still listed as missing. Yeah, well, come around and look at this. I think we can officially change that missing to stolen. Happened again. More dynamite. Yeah. Like I said, Looks like we got ourselves a situation here. See you later, Watson. Where are you going? Thought you knew, man. I got tickets to the game. Uh, I don't know. What? You better take a look at this. What's up? We got an alert from Richmond County, Georgia. The Sheriff's Department has reported two thefts of explosives. That matches up to another theft of explosives. So we're talking about three cases of missing explosives, all within 120 miles, and all in the last couple of weeks. So what, you're telling me that this... This, this is serious. All the bells are going off here. We got a report from the FBI that points to a possible target in the area, plus suspicious conversations from Richmond County. <laughs> what kind of conversations? I don't know exactly. I don't have access to the phone logs. No way, let me, let me try something here. Know anybody wants to go to a game tonight? Well, that didn't work. Frank, we need to see those telephone logs. All right, I'll call upstairs for approval. Send me what you got. We need to build a case. Okay, I'll send you a list of the potential targets within 150 miles of the construction site. Watson, there's a nuclear power plant on this list. Yeah, I know. Hey, George, you're not gonna believe this. We just got an alert from Department of Homeland Security. Yeah, right. And I'm George Clooney. No, really, I'm not fooling. We're on high alert. Oh, you better not be messing with me. I'm not. Somebody's been stealing explosives in this area. Gotta get all our guys notified. Tell them to be extra careful. Okay, I'm on it. Hey, listen to this. Front gate says there's a guy in a white van that's come through twice. Says he's lost, but he keeps looking around. What time? Around 2 o'clock. You get the video? I'm already on it. Okay, I'm gonna tell Tom to ID this guy if he comes through again. Let's get that over to DHS. Hey, Watson. It's the white van that Savannah River told us about. Okay. Here we are, 1L4KAZ, South Carolina. Okay, let's get the owner on that. Got it. The owner's a John Blade. Blade, huh? Is that the name that came up on the telephone logs? I don't think so. The only name associated with the logs is uh, Donald Keith. Oh, wait a minute. Keith made a phone call to a Richard Blade. Richard Blade, not John? That's what it says. Huh, Richard Blade.
it's his brother. Okay, let's see if we can connect the dots here. Now you said that call was made by a Donald Keith? Yeah, that's right, Keith, K-E-I-T-H. Okay, bingo. Keith and Blade are part of a group called the Sinus Brigade. Sinus? You're kidding. They're on three or four watch lists. Oh, well, we gotta move on this. See if you can get Savannah River on a web conference. Right. This is Officer Killingsworth. Hi, Officer Frank Hardy, Department of Homeland Security. How are you? I'm fine, sir. You uploaded some information regarding a vehicle that approached your gate several times. That's correct. We've identified the owner of that vehicle. His name is Blade, John Blade. You should have a photo on your screen there. Yes, sir. Do you have someone who can verify the driver of the vehicle? Let me contact Tom, our front gate officer. He had a visual on him. Okay. We also have reason to believe that the driver of the vehicle could be his brother, Richard Blade. Hello, you there? Did you say Richard Blade? There's a guy that works here named Richard Blade. Officer Killingsworth. Yes, sir. Is it possible to bring a concealed weapon into that plant? Not a gun or a knife or anything. You have to pass a metal detector. OK, listen to me carefully. All right, I need you to locate and detain Richard Blade immediately. And don't let anybody touch his computer. You got that? Yes, sir. All right, someone from the FBI will be there to question him shortly. All right, sir. We'll get him. I know you will. Thank you. One down, two to go. OK, I'll send our case report over to the FBI. Hey, Frank, sorry about the game. What game? John Blade was caught today in connection with a possible terrorist plot at the Savannah River Site nuclear power facility. Frank Hardy from the Department of Homeland Security said in a statement earlier, the seamless coordination between federal and local law enforcement helped avoid a crisis today when we established a relationship between several local crimes and a federal nuclear facility. We'll bring you more on this story as it unfolds.